Greetings, Eric Backer, New Zealand naturopath. That good to see you back. I'm author of Candida Crusher, and I'm the formulator of the Candida range of supplements. Right, we're going to talk about how do you know when Candida is finally going away? What are the telltale signs? How can you tell that when things are starting to get better? This is something I've spoken about many times with many, many patients over the years, as you as you can imagine. Right. Most people over time will improve. Some will improve faster, some will improve slower. Some may not improve as quick as they like, but generally when the right steps are taken and the correct protocol is in place, a person is going to get better. But getting better for one person can be four to six weeks, it could be three to four years for somebody else. So there is no you know, particular time frame when I can say this is how long it's going to take for you to get better. Right? The telltale signs of getting better are uh, when other people start noticing things or saying things. This is an interesting one you may not be aware of, but when somebody else will say to you, oh, you're looking like you've got a bit more energy lately, or you're looking happier, you look different. Have you had a haircut done? Have you, had, have you, had, have you got makeup on? Have you had your hair done or something like that? If it's a female, they're not going to say that to guys, of course. But for a guy, they're going to say, you look more energetic. You look a bit happier. Generally, when someone else notices something in you, okay, it can be quite subtle, and it can be something you're not aware of yourself, right? But this very often happens. So pay particular attention after several months of what other people are saying. For yourself, start looking at how easy it is for you to get out of bed and to achieve things in your life, you know, to do different things. How easy it is for you to sleep, to get a better night's sleep. Pay also attention to your moods to see if your mood is improving, what you're like. When you get up in the morning, do you feel happy? Is it a sunny day? Do you feel inspired to do something? Or do you feel down in the dumps? You know. Look at different signs and symptoms that you've developed over the you know, preceding several years. Are you starting to notice changes in your digestion? Are you getting hungrier? Are you losing weight more easily? Is your skin looking better? Is your breath not quite so strong smelling? Is your tongue clearing up? Are your bowel motions changing? That's a big one. Okay. The sign of a well-functioning gut is usually uh, a really good, well-formed bowel motion. One to two bowel motions per day, minimal gas or bloating, preferably no bloating at all, and very minimal gas. You should have no sensations of the gut at all. Okay. There should be no headaches, there should be no aches and pains. There should be no sensations of anything going on in here. That's a really good sign. Okay, So what we're looking for is a shift. We're looking for a change. In the early stages of recovery, you may find that feeling good may only last for half a day or several hours of the day. It may even last a whole day, but then the door shuts. Okay, I've written about this extensively in Candida Crusher. In the introduction, you can read about um, how people think they're going to recover which I call fantasy land, and how they really recover, which I call reality check. Okay, So things always happen differently than you anticipate. Things always take longer. Have you noticed? It takes a long time to pay off a mortgage. It takes a long time to wait for that vacation that you'd planned. It takes a long time for the teenagers to move out of house, finally give you the space you're looking for. Everything takes longer than anticipated. Right? Nothing comes really quick and easy. And as I've taught my kids, anything in life really worthwhile takes time and commitment. And it's the same with you for recovery. Time and commitment. Give yourself plenty of time to recover. Try and follow some of the advice I've put down in some of my videos, particularly relating to lifestyle. Okay, Lifestyle, to me, is the key for recovery from candida. Food is important, but lifestyle is critical. And most other websites or books or doctors or whoever you talk to about this condition, they forego lifestyle. It's all about food, food, food. What can I eat? What can I eat? I've got about 20 Candida books here and they all focus on diet. And there's a very small little section in there about yoga or exercise and that's it. So when I wrote Candida Crusher in 2013, I made sure I put a large section about lifestyle in there. And interesting now, I'm noticing more people are writing about lifestyle and adrenal fatigue, and about stress and things like that. 
because this is the sticking point folks this is why you're not recovering you may have the perfect diet but you may not be recovering at the speed you want because your lifestyle is not in line with your diet okay does it make sense so remember if lifestyle gets incorporated firmly with diet and some quality supplements okay recovery will come faster will come sooner yeah? so it's really up to you think about that for a minute what I said if your lifestyle is in line with your diet and you followed some of the advice I've given you recovery will come a lot faster and sooner yeah? and then you will know you're recovering because you will be feeling better inside you feel happy about your life and that makes a big difference and when you're happy people around you are happy and people around you are happy you're even happier and then accelerates recovery faster right who cares what kind of a, what kind of a you know um, organic particular cookie you've got in your hand does it make any difference if you're yelling or you're screaming at your partner at the time you're eating think about stress in your life it's a big big hindrance towards recovery sunny disposition happy person big sign of recovery i hope that gives you a bit of food for thought thanks for tuning in thank you